Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Cradle of Civilization playing as Revolutionary Room. And I have some probably controversial news here. Uh, this series is actually about to end. And the reason being, one of the goals that I set out in the very beginning of this playthrough was we wanted to form either Persia or Room. Well, ultimately I wanted to do both, but that's not ended up being possible. Um, but then we wanted to unify Islam. And that was pretty much all of the uh, goals that I established for myself in this campaign thus far. I think I'm kind of sticking by that. Those are the goals. And then once we've met those goals, I'm not really convinced that there's a huge point in continuing right now. I mean, we could... We're at 1750. I could play another 71 years of the game, or most of the way through, and just finish it out at 1821. But all it's going to be is just more spreading the revolution, spreading the revolution, the war. I'm already OP. No one can fight me. Just boom, 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 knock them all over. And it's going to take a lot longer than you think. This is not just like one more week of videos. This is like two or three, because I have to go slower as I just fight, 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 fight. It's just not going to be as interesting. And based on what I was saying in my last um, vlog video, and those of you who missed it, I would recommend checking it out. I need to be okay with a game like EU4 of once I've completed my goals, just being done and walking away. Maybe even having a series where I just go for uh, achievements and then just end it there. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I really need to be doing, and I think this is a good opportunity. The series has been getting a little stale. I think from here on out, it's just going to be rinse and repeat, which is not that fun to watch. So I think we just skip it and just let it end there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish converting all these guys. We have some Copts, Orthodox, Catholics, and so on. And once that's all done, we should be able to unify Islam, and that will be the series. Now, I'll keep going for another half an hour um, just to, you know, finish it out strong. And what I will do is I'll probably play this in my own time just to finish it up to 1821 and then release a um, uh, time-lapse video that shows where what you would have missed because there's really not much to miss, but maybe you guys want to see it. I don't know. Uh, do you want to have... Ooh, that's so good. Oh, my God. Do you want to split up some Navy, Army, or Diplo-related stuff? What do we want? 40 Navy tradition is a lot, by the way. Morale of Armies is the best by a long shot. Uh, that said, I'm doing really well on power on both fronts. Um, I could split them up. I think instead I'm just going to reform the army, but I need to spend some military power if that's the case. I guess I could strengthen the government a couple more times. I don't really need to, but if we're going to have that much freaking power, we might as well. And guess what? We finally hit 100% army professionalism, which means our generals are cheaper to get, and we can drill a heck of a lot faster. Again, though, I don't think the drill mechanics are that important in this game. I don't think they end up adding a lot of value. So who freaking cares at the end of the day? It's like, huzzah, throw some confetti. You got something that ultimately is kind of useless. Aren't you happy? All right, so Seuss, can we attack you? I don't think we have a... We don't have a truce with these guys. So yeah, I could just totally kill these guys here. We will. We'll do that. As long as I don't conquer any non-Orthodox land, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, Yasuj? Where's this? Over Mia. Do I have an army anywhere nearby? Answer is no. We'd have to send somebody down here. Um... I guess we'll we'll just sort of work our way down there. I don't want to reform society, and I don't really want to lose some local taxes. Although I could. It's just local. You know what? Screw it. It's just local authority. I don't actually care that much about it. All right. I think we were planning on moving these guys down toward Mali. Is that the plan? I think that was the plan. So yeah, just keep conquering the other Muslims. Uh, Portugal just took a bit of lands from Sofla, who was another Muslim target. Could kill them. But not a high priority right now. Um... So let's see, we have one army in position right now. I guess we could just go ahead and get started. I am so far ahead of time on tech, by the way, it's not even freaking funny. Revolutionary Republics, man. You want to stack up some of that Republican tradition and start re-electing a lot? Man, you get a load of power. It's so good. All right, do we go ahead and just declare the war now? Uh, we have a couple of armies in position against Mali, and I think that's going to be fine. We could co-belligerize. And you don't have any extra allies, so that's going to be fine. And you are Sunni with Sunni land. So yeah, let's just co-belligerize, and we'll do this. Okay, there we go. Revolution! Or something like that, I don't know. Not imperialism. Sort of imperial- We are not imperials! Yeah, that's, that's how we want to say it. 
All right, you back up. Stay here. You have no morale, which means killing you is even easier than before, which is just mean. Uh, we've already improved relations with my vassals. Um, let's get these guys grouped up. Start moving toward the forts. You need a general. We'll take you. And uh, Carpathia is also pretty good. We do want to annex these guys, but there's not much we can do until we finish our mission. New Madrasa. So let's go ahead and grab the extra missionary strength, which is super nice. Uh, I'm going to wait until you get locked. There you go. And that will be the end of their army. Goodbye. Okay, go to their capital. Um, let's grab some more conversions of the Orthodox. Why can't I convert these guys yet? Busy building a farm estate right now? Interesting. I didn't realize that uh, buildings stopped you from converting. That's good to know, actually. I probably should have known that, but I didn't know it. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I know some people are going to be miffed because it feels like it's sort of out of the blue, right? I mean, I did say at the beginning that, you know, unifying Islam and stuff is going to be one of the big goals of the series. Once I've met your goal, my goals, you could assume that I'm just done, but I typically do just play until the end. So I understand why some people would probably be upset, but I spent some time talking to my guys in Discord, getting some opinions on that, and I really do agree that the series has just kind of felt stale. This series has never really quite done it for me the way the other ones have. Partly because I think the Cradle of Civilization expansion is just a little... eh? A little lackluster. The Army Professionalism stuff is cool in theory. But in practice, I don't think it actually changes stuff that much. So, meh. Uh, can we catch you? Where are you going? You're going that way. Alright. Let's get you over to Hene. Uh, do we have... Yep, we have Molly's troops marching around down here. I don't know if I necessarily care. We have reinforcements already on the way. So let's just go ahead and finish off Seuss. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. It was a decision I wasn't quite sure I wanted to make, but I don't think that this series deserves to go on for another, like, two or three weeks. You know what I mean? Especially if it's going to be this, this rinse and repeat. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So, I don't know. That's just sort of my justification for it. Okay, so that finishes another siege down here in Mali already. Uh, we could work on more forts, but let's go ahead and send these armies... Uh, we'll take you probably get down over here. Let's just yeah, let's just keep working on the forts. We're fine. I think one stack can probably handle Molly. Not too worried about it. France wants military access. I guess okay. I don't really see a reason to be nice to you, but I will. Okay, that's Nizhny Novgorod converted. Uh, we can convert Ragusa and then Kasar Ibrim, and then we're basically done. And then I can finally start <laughs> conquering all the Catholic land again. Yay! Oh no, Ibrahim's dead. New one. Good thing they're so cheap, too. A 5532 with 95 army tradition? It's pretty good. Pretty darn good, actually. We lost the Siege of Borno. Oh, no. Uh, where are you going? Going down this way? We can catch you. I can't keep up with the power, by the way. Good lord. A couple more mercantilisms, please. Jeez. No, no, no. Now he's trying to go around me. Ah! All right. Kasser Ibram is over here somewhere... There you are. Okay, you're taking too long to build this. Screw that. Convert. And that'll be it. So in 18 months, we can unify Islam and we're done. That's easy. There goes Timbuktu. I think we can split, split, and split. Uh, even more, probably. Yeah, let's just go for a really aggressive carpet siege. Okay. Go here, 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 and here. Okay, uh, that fort's done. Go to that one. Um, hey, look, more troops that I forgot about. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Always nice to find a spare army that you just totally forgot existed. It's like finding it's like finding a quarter under your bed. It's like, oh, cool. So these guys are trying to wander around through the desert, and I think they're going to realize that's a horrible mistake because I got an army waiting for them. Uh, you're going to here, huh? Yep, you're locked, so you're dead. Okay, that was easy enough. Uh, Seuss wants out, which is no surprise. Um, so these guys can now come... Yes, 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 I know. Come down this way. They're trapped. There's only one way back home. We're about to be capped out on military power, but I have no practical use for it, which is always fun. <laughs> I mean, I know this isn't as flashy as some of my previous series where I've conquered the world or Japan conquered, like, all of Asia and stuff. And I think it has been just generally a slower start, right? Uh, Akkoyanlu was not actually all that powerful. 
But it's been a pretty reasonable series, and I think you'll be surprised. What I can probably accomplish in the next 50 years is I can conquer, like, most of Europe. I can probably do Mare Nostrum still uh, with really no problem. So, and I know some people will want to see it, but again, I, I just don't think it's worth it. It's going to be so much of just rinse and repeat, boring, boring, boring. So, yeah, I, I, I remember there's an opportunity cost. I know that there's a couple thousand people who still watch this. But, if you think about it, um, by not continuing to play EU4, I free myself up to do something else. Like, let's say, a Hearts of Iron series, another one, which I know a lot of people still like. We can do the American Civil War. It would free me up to play completely different games that are not Paradox-related, and you can have a mini-series of something different. That'd be kind of fun, too. So there's a lot of options for us. Liberty Desire, no Naval Engagement, or Force March costs no power. Let's just go for Loyal Subjects. I really don't care that much about Force March. Um, it's okay. But what often happens is I'll turn it on, and I'll forget about it, and you don't quite reinforce the same way. Alright, three more provinces to go, and then we'll have Unified Islam. Um, assuming that my vassals still work. Let's get all this back. You guys need to catch up over here. Oop. Apparently, oh, Borno is making it very difficult for me to get around. Right. Let's see if I can catch these guys. I'm going to try going back around the desert. A rising star! Throughout his career, Ishak Barbaros has left a strong impression. Uh, an orthodox master recruiter, lose 5 prestige for the good of the country even though he is the wrong faith, or gain 10 prestige. Uh, I mean, a level 3 guy who's cheap, I guess, is okay. I can't promote him is the problem. Do I care? Yeah, I like being able to promote. We're so rich that I really should be getting, like, level 5s and stuff. And that looks like it could very well be a stack wipe. Not quite, but it was pretty effective. He's going this direction. We'll catch him. Okay, uh, can't make any states or anything, so I guess we just keep spending some of my admin power on more development. There we go. Although we are kind of ready to just go ahead and end the war at this point. So, uh, do we peace out separately with Mali? We did co belligerize them, so we can do that. So let's join up our lands here so we can march around the desert easily. Let's strengthen my holding out here. I could take some islands. I assume those are Sunni. They are indeed. I didn't realize that Molly had these. All right, we'll take the islands. Grab all of this. Um, kind of thicken this out a little bit. Uh, we'll kind of work our way down this edge. Oh, that's too much. 87 war score is pretty decent. Can't take anything else, though. So we'll take a little bit of money. I actually can take up to, like, five more war score. Um, war reps is a no. I don't care about Seuss. Releasing treaty, uh, nations doesn't make a lot of sense. Although it doesn't cost me any Diplo power to do this because <laughs> this freaking Cass's belly spread the revolution is so darn good. We really could just start releasing some nations. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man. Um, I think we'll. I think I don't. We don't even. We don't need the money. We don't need the prestige either. Whatever. We'll just take this. It's fine. All right. You're done. Goodbye, Molly. You're out. Boom. We grow even bigger. And then, Seuss, I assume that I don't have any problems with overextension. I think we had like 68 before. So we'll take your money. You can revoke your cores. Nothing else matters. And you're out. Okay, so that finishes all of them off. Uh, in between the time lapse in this video, I'll probably pick up colonial ideas just to fill in these gaps real quick. Which will be nice. 90% overextension. I finally have a use for all this admin power, so let's go ahead and start spending it. Core everything up. Everything should be Sunni. Yep, so there's no new lands to convert, so that did not mess up my ability to um, unify Islam. So now we just have to wait. That's it. We're just going to sit around and wait for a while. How long do I have to, until I can kill Transoxiana again? 1753. Oh, in just a few months. Yeah, that's another person I want to kill. I don't like that their blue is so similar to my blue. I know, I'm being kind of colorist here, aren't I? But it's probably fine. So let's go ahead and start marching up toward Transoxiana. That does mean having to fight Ming again, I think. Unless, I can't remember, did I break up their relationship last time? I might have. I don't really rightly recall. Um, we'll have all you guys group up. You guys will go... Up toward Transoxiana, we'll leave behind one army. Um, you will go up this direction as well. Could kill Spain. Really, honestly, what you'll probably see 
in between videos. New constitution. We don't need more Republican tradition, so the answer is going to be no. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is finishing off Spain, pushing into a little bit of France. I'll definitely take Rome and probably beat down Austria and the Commonwealth and take over like half of Russia and stuff like that. I'll probably just basically take over this entire area of the world. It's not going to be the most impressive time lapse I've ever done. I've done some pretty cool campaigns where I really blobbed hard. And this has been a decent campaign. It's kind of nice being able to go toward the um, Revolutionary Republic thing. I haven't done that in so freaking long. It's really satisfying getting to finally do it again. I like the Revolutionary Republic, and honestly, I never really thought about them with the whole strength and uh, government mechanics. But it's so freaking strong being able to get up to maximum Republican tradition again. It's freaking amazing. All right, one Coptic... Uh, province left in May and will be done. Ragusa has been finished. We have plenty of power left to unify Islam. Just waiting a little longer. Truce of Transoxiana and Ming is over. Ming wants military access. The answer has to be no. And conversion successful of Ibra. Oh, that was not the one I thought it was. Hang on. And, and done! Okay. So everything's being converted. Now we get to unify Islam. Okay, so it does work. Subjects don't have to have all my provinces converted because they're not technically owned by me. So there's that. We're going to have to spend 100 power in all categories, but we will permanently gain a stability cost modifier, plus 2% missionary strength, more tolerance of the true faith, and tolerance of heretics. That is so freaking good. Done. I wish there was like a big flashy event for that. You have unified Islam! If this was an Iron Man campaign, it'd be nice to get the uh, achievement for it. I think there's an achievement. I assume there is. But oh well, that's finally done. Let's go ahead and get rid of the religious ideas, because I don't need those anymore. We are going to pick up exploration, so I can get the immediate uh, colonists. Let's pick that up. That's all temporary. Let's see. Native repression for better global settlers. Assimilation or coexistence. Let's go for the Global Settler Increase to 140. We'll start by filling this in. And you know what? Let's spread this army out. We'll have some sit here in the desert, some sit over here. That way we can just keep repressing the natives. Because you all know how much I love repressing them natives. <laughs> okay, uh, we can use a bit more cavalry here. Cool. All right, so we're going to fill in the gaps now. I love it. Uh, we do not need to do any more of these, though. I don't plan on going full exploration, because I can't really create any colonial nations. It looks like oh, everything has been filled out. So this is just to fill in some gaps. I'll get rid of it afterwards, and then pick up um, probably a military idea group. We could go for plutocratic, which is interesting. You pair that up with... Let's see. Uh, if we had gotten economic, we could have gotten some extra yearly Republican tradition, which is pretty strong. But I think we had talked about getting Diplomatic instead. Because Diplomatic plus Aristocratic gets me plus 0.4 Republican tradition per year. That's a pretty substantial increase. That's like a 35% increase from what I have right now. So it's pretty good. It means I shouldn't really ever have to strengthen the government. I mean, if ultimately the goal, right, is to get, what, 2.5 per year? It depends on how, how long you have between elections. I think every four years I have an election. So if I could get 2.5 Republican tradition per year... That would be great. Um, and we'd never have to strengthen the government. We'd always be at maximum, and I could keep re-electing forever. That's the dream. It's not real, really realistic. But getting an extra 0.4 makes you get a lot closer to that goal. We apparently have another merchant somewhere, and I probably should use that. Um, maybe down here? Yeah, this goes to Tunis. Tunis is going the wrong way. What if I... Steer this towards um, the Seville Trade Node, where I do have control, and I'm collecting. That makes sense. So we'll set you here. Or, no, wait. No, that makes way more sense. Send it to Ethiopia, where it goes toward my capital. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that a lot better. Okay, that makes more sense. We'll do that. I think we're almost done freaking con uh, col uh, <laughs> converting. There we go. Everybody. That's pretty fun. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start annexing our vassals. We'll do that one there. Um, could do probably one of these. I need more opinion here. I haven't done that recently. Could annex you. Yeah, let's go ahead and start annexing this guy as well. There we go. So yeah, we'll finally fill out some of these um, 
Uh, client states, I know people have been complaining non-stop. Oh, the border gore. It's not even that much border gore. Come on. I, like, deliberately set these guys up in such a way that it doesn't create horrible border gore. But whatever, it's fine. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, uh, so Transoxiana is who we wanted to kill. They are not allied to Ming right now, so attacking them now is kind of the perfect opportunity. We could kill Yarkand in the process. They are a tributary of Ming, so I don't really want to do that. So I think we go ahead and spread the revolution into Transoxiana, lose even more legalism, which at this point is now irrelevant, and we'll take as much land here as we can. We are not Imperials! But we kind of are! But don't... Don't think about it too much. All right. So let's see. We're going to get all you guys up over this direction. Uh, Transoxiana should be fairly distracted. Um, so that's good. I think their armies are going to be up here to the north. There's Yarkand, and they did indeed join. Uh, we could also attack Bashkiria, which means, I think, risking the ire of um, Russia. Russia is someone else I don't mind killing. We probably can just split them down here and just take all their holdings up here. I don't know. There's a lot I'll do as I finish out this campaign. But keep in mind, it's been 20 minutes and we've only moved forward four years. Partly because I just keep uh, having to pause as I do my warfare and stuff like that. So, this is what you would have to expect, you know? It would still be at least another like 15 to 20 videos of just non-stop war. Alright, we get a 666 leader. We're already at maximum Republican tradition, so I don't see a reason not to. Let's do it. Got a bit more military power. Don't really have anything to spend it on at the moment, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this is all looking pretty good. Let's strengthen the government once. I think that's the only time we're going to have to do it. Bukhara has been already beaten down. And everyone else gets to have fun with imperialism, but let's be honest, guys. Imperialism? I mean, seriously, this spread the revolution thing does the exact same thing and more. It is a better Cassus Belly. This may very well be the best Cassus Belly in the game. We are utterly crushing with this. It's amazing. All right, there goes your capital. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. We'll try to keep an eye on their armies. I have to go kill Yarkand, but we'll go ahead and reduce some of their um, reinforcement opportunities. Anyway, merchants are spread too thin. I don't really care. Sure, I don't need an absent, a merchant in Aleppo. I have complete dominance there, so that's fine. Okay, um... Good. It will be kind of fun whenever I do uh, get to attack, like, France and stuff to be able to, um... try taking over, like, bits of Canada and start creating some more colonial nations. I mean, I'm happy having Australia here and all, but we'll probably take over, like, Alaska. I might take over California, just kind of work my way down here, take over some of Canada. I don't know. There's, we can, the sky's the frickin' limit at this point. The revolution knows no boundaries, okay? We can, and probably will, go anywhere and freaking everywhere. By the way, the, uh, unrest is pretty darn manageable thanks to the unified Islam. That's pretty good. Hey, look, natives tried to rise up. That was cute. How will that work out for you? Oh, not at all? Huh. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Papal State, what would involve killing you? Commonwealth, Portugal, and Spain. Okay, so I probably would want to find a way to kill, uh, let's say, Portugal? Portugal's an excuse to kill Spain and the Papal State, so we'll probably do that. Take over the rest of Iberia, feed that off, annex them. Got a lot of ships that I'm not using. These are... Mm, transports and heavies, it looks like. Let's see. Get you guys together. We'll keep the heavies with the transports. I mean, heck, who knows? Maybe I'll need it. Hi, Arkans. Oh, you're going over here, are you? I can meet you there. All right, let's see. There's a fort all the way up Mia. So let's keep a couple armies nearby. Um, let's push a little over to the east for some vision. These guys can all go to here, Kashgar. Um, actually, you stay here. You guys go to Kashgar. I want to have a general nearby. Cossack aggression again. All right. Commonwealth actually is happy to give me some free prestige because they're scared of me. As well they freaking should be. Here I am with 5,000 development. <laughs> I mean, this still doesn't compare to my Moravia campaign. It's really hard to beat my Moravia campaign. That was, um, that was quite good. <laughs> Conquered the world 
without really meaning to, using the HRE mechanics. What do we have? Like 20,000 development by the end of the game or something? Ah, that may be a little bit much. It was probably like 12,000, but still, it was really good. Anyway, hey, look who's here. What's up, buddy? Let's see if we can make sure he doesn't jump on my guys. He wants to. Nope, never mind. He totally does not. He gave up. Good. All right. Uh, let's see. You failed to kill them. I thought they were locked. Apparently not. Well, we'll get to kill him now. Say goodbye to Yarkand. That was easy. Only lost a bit of infantry. We do not... Oh, he has to retreat right here. He can only go one province over. Oh, that sucks to be you, dude. Spend some more of this military development. I am rolling in so many freaking monarch points, I don't know what to do with them. I literally do not. You didn't stack wipe that? No, you totally stack wiped it. Now he had nowhere to go. Okay, that works. All right. Hi, Bohemia. What's up? What are you doing? Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Just get a good surround here. One, two, and three. Go here, 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 and here. What's up, Russia? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty fortunate that I decided to kill Transoxiana. I think they would have beaten you. Let's get all these guys out here. Yeah, just be honest with me, guys. Would you really want to watch just this? What I'm doing right now, what I've been doing for the last 20 minutes, just this? I mean, I know that I don't, like, have to explain myself to you. Some people will be like, ah, oh, don't... You keep talking about... You keep apologizing. Stop apologizing. You can do what you want. You're correct, but I'm just trying to, like justify myself here to the people who probably are going to be mad at me. Would you really want to watch this non-stop? Maybe you would. But I don't know. I personally uh, would tend to think that this gets kind of stale pretty quick. Alright, let's see if we can get our troops over in position here. Uh, you're going that direction. I don't think I can actually get my reinforcements in there in time, so let's just have these guys join up. We'll try to trap him. Who is he killing? Who's marching in here? I don't see anybody. Oh, my vassal is. Okay. Never mind. I guess we could try jumping in on this. Um, and you know what? Yeah, we got an army right here. Let's just have everyone dogpile in on this. Yarkan shouldn't be able to fight back too long. Ming is trying to subdue Shiba, who never formed Japan. Which is unfortunate, because Japan is actually pretty good. My Japanese campaign is one of my favorites, too. I think Moravia and Japan are my two favorites. This one... Oh, God. Well, I seem to have made a horrible mistake there. That was a total waste of men. Okay, well, this time we should be able to beat them. I kind of expected the other guys to arrive sooner than that, but they didn't. A new coin. Sure, I don't want to lose 10 Republican tradition. That's way too much. Uh, let's pay down the inflation. You're making 400 ducats a month at the moment, by the way. In case you needed any more proof of how freaking overpowered I actually am. Military access, sure, I guess. Um, we might even be able to end this war now. I'll just try to grab the capital of Yarkan and piece them out. And then I think Transoxiana's done. Nationalism? Okay. I don't feel like people use the nationalism cast a spell too often. Imperialism is just... I mean, maybe there are some cases. I don't know. I guess it's more of you don't have an opportunity to use nationalism. It can be better than imperialism, I think, a little bit but only against people of your culture. That's the only way nationalism works, which doesn't happen too often because, let's be honest, you should have conquered everything of your culture by now anyway. So, there is that. Good lord, I can't even freaking keep up. Okay, you guys, uh, group, split, um, go somewhere else. There goes Kashgar. Can we peace out Yarkand? The answer is yes. I will take a province from you. Um, a couple of provinces from you. Sure, that's 12% overextension. And then I will have you break off your alliance with... Maybe that's too much. A couple provinces, 10% overextension, break off with Transoxiana, and give me some money. I will join up my land in a second. Okay, so that's done. I don't have any... Um, Yeah, I didn't have any overextension. Okay. And now we just have to wait for Transoxiana. Need a diplomat back. Thank you. Sue for peace. Join these guys up. We'll take this. I might as well just take as much as I freaking can, right? Unfortunately, I'm going to get limited by my overextension, no doubt. I can take up to 90%, so... That's kind of it. Yeah, that's as much as I'm able to take at the moment. 
little unfortunate, but okay. Um, annul your treaties with... Nothing else here matters. War reps. Oh, wait, I could vassalize you? Oh, let's just vassalize trans... Wait, how many relationships do I have right now? Ah, we're about to finish annexing some people soon. Yeah, let's just go ahead and freaking vassalize um, uh, Transoxiana. We'll eat them that way. They'll be upset at me, but who cares? I can make them love me eventually. And that's done. There we go. So my text is getting bigger and bigger. That's always cool. Uh, doop, 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 doop. And this is pretty much where I'm going to end the series. Just like that. So, yeah. Sorry it's a little bit last minute. But I think it's for the best. Again, if you guys are confused, I would encourage you guys to watch my vlog. You'll understand a bit about my uh, reasoning for things. What I'm going to do now is play a bit more in my spare time. Take it all the way to 1821 so that tomorrow you guys can watch a uh, time-lapse video. You'll see me all the way up to this point, 1756, and then everything that happened afterwards should be pretty fun. And we'll move on. We'll do a small mini-series that are like three videos long. And then after that, next week, we're going to start up a new Hearts of Iron 4 campaign and keep this Paradox train running. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed and can understand my reasoning behind all this. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not already, hit notify if you have. Thank you all for watching this series. It was fun while it lasted. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>